So this is our little historic town of Perryville we're coming up on. We've been here 30 years and we love it just fine. No, that car is not on fire. They're just having a little uh, radio thing. So this is the new little coffee shop called the Salted Honey Cafe. I've had some pretty salty honeys myself. Ha ha! Usually a food truck or two over here on the side. There's our little river. This house is about a mile and a half out. Oh, by the way, the little historic downtown. I can't drive and hold the camera and point and be on Facebook and be on YouTube all at the same time. Well, I try anyway. <laughs> so town's about six or 700 people. It used to be a big deal around the Civil War times and up until maybe the 20s. Got a little Dollar General there, which is great. Oh my God. They, serve, they sell bacon, black beans, beer, uh, a lot of other B words, but bread. <laughs> but you can get almost anything there. Uh, and it's really great in a pinch. Where was I? I interrupted myself. Oh, about 700 people, two convenience stores, a school, probably six churches, seven churches maybe. And then we're right here. This is a kind of, kind of a big farm deal. He does grain here. That's what these trucks are. They're full of hay for the animals. And this is what it's like being out in the country. I mean, I love it. This is the way we live. This is the way a lot of people like to live. Uh, we just think it's the bee's knees. This is the house, it's on five acres. It is fantastic. And it's a sparkler, not like fireworks, but like it sparkles. Okay, what were we talking about before we went up on a flight? We were talking about living in the country. Well, you got five acres here, but you're only like, what, a mile and a half? I don't know. I'll mark it down here. You're not a mile and a half. I guarantee you, you're just a mile or less to the school and all that other stuff. There's a horse farm in the back, so you can get to see and enjoy the horses without owning the horses. Those are the best kind. This shop is awesome. 1,024 square feet, 32 by 32, I believe they said. And then there's storage up in the top. I'll go inside. I'll show it all to you later. One of my favorite things, of course, the walkout basement and all that stuff, is this back patio. This was really nice because this is a lot of sociability. This is uh, where we grill probably three, four nights a week. They got a little fire pit out here. This is fantastic. There is a wet weather stream down there. It's been very dry. We had a big drought. We had six weeks with no rain. I know some of you are laughing at me from New Mexico or California or Santa Fe or something like that, but six weeks, no rain here. We're in a, like a temperate rainforest here. We get about an inch of rain a week. So with no rain for six weeks, it's a big deal. And it dried up this creek, but there's a little creek that runs through it. And the property line runs right about there. If you can see, there's a fence there with some black posts. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah, there you go. Right there, that's the end of the property, I assume. Ken will tell you where all the lines are and all that stuff. I'm just a helper. All right, we're gonna try this one more time because I locked myself out earlier. You know what a dork I am sometimes. So, or may, maybe all the time. Ask my wife, they might tell you. Do not ask my mother. She will definitely uh, tell on me. Beautiful barber cabinets. This is all the soft clothes stuff. Well, that's a lot of junk drawer. And, um, yeah, I've got a junk drawer too, but I have two or three junk drawers. Everybody's supposed to have a junk drawer, but not three. Um, got the um, the garbage here, which is really nice. And these are, I don't know what these are. These are solid surface something or another, like a Corian type thing. Very pretty, of course, ultra durable. Stainless steel appliances. That's what everybody likes. That's what everybody wants. This is three bedrooms, three baths, 3,300 square feet, maybe even a little bit more. 
So from the outside, it doesn't look super huge, but when you realize you got another full floor downstairs, that's the way to roll, man. Full walkout basement and even barber cabinets up in there. This is handy as heck. So you've got your, your uh, like your mudroom thing here. You walk in the back, you can drop your boots. That's what they do. You can drop your boots and, um, and you got the laundry right there. So that's cool. And this living room, all this open space is of course what everybody wants because it's like perfect for entertaining. All open. And then you got a full rec room downstairs. Total. Totally cool place downstairs. Wait till I show you. So there's your view off the front porch. That doesn't suck. The view off the back porch is fantastic because that's where the grill is. So where you can drink something cold and maybe grill some meat or something like that. Are you with me on that? Hey, if you love this house, tell me what you love about it in the comments below. And if this house is perfect for you, just call Ken. And if this property is not perfect for you, let's get you on our home finder. That way we can just get basic information about how many acres you want, when are you buying, what's your price range, that sort of thing. Let's get you rolling. So we've got people in the office who will call you up and say, hey, we've been sending you some properties. Are we spot on or are we way off? What's the deal? All natural light coming in here. Fantastic jet, jet tub and a shower. So, I mean, everybody wants a shower today, obviously, uh, but you also want to do a little soaking. So you've got plenty of room for some candles here, maybe a glass of wine, some Andrea Bocelli. You cannot soak in a tub without listening to Andrea Bocelli. I wonder if he knows that this old fat guy sits in the hot tub and listens to him. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm sure he doesn't either. Got all this wrought iron here. All right, so we'll go into this. This bedroom, super bedroom, amazing light. This is Southern Exposure, so you're gonna have awesome light in here all day. Maybe you don't put a bedroom in here because this is a narrow wall. I mean, I don't mind telling you. you know, of course, you could put the bed over on this side, in this corner if you want, but this would be an amazing home office. Now, it's only three bedrooms upstairs, but then you got another bedroom downstairs. Now, we're not allowed to call it a bedroom because it doesn't have an egress or window or whatever. It's covered with uh, on the outside or whatever, but it, you would use it for a bedroom. My goodness, come on, stop. Let's be honest with each other, right? We're friends. So I call this, I call this a Hollywood. What do you call it? If there's anybody out there who knows what kind of bathroom this is, this is called, it's kind of a, like a Hollywood bath. I guess a true Hollywood bath or a Jack and Jill would have a door on each side. This doesn't have a door on each side. This has the, uh, the toilet right there. So, but you can go right in here. You got a door here and then you got a door here kind of, sort of, and it just goes right to here. So if you call that a Jack and Jill or a Hollywood, let me know or correct me. I'm always learning new stuff and I learn a lot of stuff from you. So you get people from all over the world. They're like, no, I'm an architecture student and that's not this, it's this. I'm like, okay, good, cool. I believe you, but I'm always up for learning stuff. Let's run downstairs. Now, I hope I can do this without falling flat on my face because there we go. Let's do this. All engineered wood down here. So what is engineered wood? Well, it's like this much real wood on the top and then a little bit more in plywood and it's kind of like glued together, I guess. Uh, but it's very nice and you can refinish it and you can stain it. And But it's, it feels like real wood because it is real wood. But it's just not that much thick wood. Uh, real wood. It's that much thick real wood and then that much plywood. I'm sure the people who invented engineered wood are just rolling their eyes and saying, oh my gosh, he's all wrong. But that's the way I interpret it. And this is a monster bedroom. Now I'm going to say these are 24, or I'm sorry, two foot, 24 inch uh, tiles. So let's count them. 
So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14. And then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 22. 14 by 22 monster bedroom. You've heard of a master bedroom? This is a monster bedroom. Perfect multi generational, perfect uh, mother daughter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this would be great for Cindy's dad, right? He could just be down here. He's got his own bathroom. Throw him in a little hot plate. You don't want him to have too much more than a hot plate. He might get in trouble with that. It's beautiful. It's down here, it's clean. It smells nice. It's dry. This is like your own pad down here. Got kids. We've got a 17 and 19 year old. This would be perfect for them. They could live down here. Space under the stairs. I love these little extra spaces because you always need space for your stuff. All right. There we go. Wing wall. And it's super thick. Look at this. Look, it's like extra bricks wide. It's like super thick. Ain't going anywhere. And that holds it back. Holds the earth back over here. And then over here, uh, we don't need anything. It's just open. So you got brick on the bottom, vinyl on the top. No maintenance where you have to get up on a ladder. Isn't that a beautiful barn over there? You get to see that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. What do we got here? I want to show you this little room. I don't even know what it is. Uh, where's the light? I don't even know what this room is. It's hardly not even a sewing room. It's kind of like a, like a walk-in closet, but without shelves. And then this is the mechanical room. I can show you what's going on here. Everything's like new. Everything's dry. Poured walls. Primo, baby. Primo. That's the way it is. This was done right. I know the guy who built this house. Absolutely done fantastic. How'd you like to have a safe and a safe room and whatever you want to do here in your place? And this was built right. Look at this. Look at that iron right into the concrete with uh, tap cons. All poured. This is under the porch, right? So this is concrete up here with the porch. And look at this. Eight inch thick concrete. The only way to roll. Doors closed. Close all this stuff up. I know you got questions. Put them in the comments or just pick up the phone and give Ken a call because that's what we want to do. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't go anywhere. I got to show you the shop. Let's go. Now, when you come to look at this house, you got to time it right. So tell Ken you can only look at it around four or five in the afternoon. That way you can sit here, light the fire, crack open a cold one and, uh, and look at the place. When you can kind of relax and kind of feel the way you would live in this house is the best. By the way, these two trees here, when they get older and then grow up, they might turn into a bourbon barrel someday. Those are white oaks, I believe. Look at this shop. Awesome. Love it. So the center here is all uh, plywood, so you can just go right up the stairs there. And you got storage up there. And that's a big mama jama truck. That's a mega cab, a Ram mega cab. So it's huge and it swallows it up. No problem. You got several feet here in the back, at least three, maybe four feet in the back. And then you've got how many feet here before you even get near the stairs? Working on a car. And you got windows that open, nice cross breeze. Plenty of room in the back here. You go all, remember, you go all the way out to that fence there, way on out there. So there's tons of room back there. I mean, that's probably 150 feet guessing. This is maybe uh, negotiable. Uh, it's for sale. So it's got a bucket. It's got a, I think she said it's got a blade. Maybe she's talking about the bucket. I don't know. And then this finish mower, all Kubota. Oh, this is Land Pride, I'm sorry. This is Kubota, this is Kubota. I mean, it doesn't get better than Kubota. 
I'm assuming it's a diesel. I don't know. You just got to talk to Ken. He knows all about it. But that is available if you're looking to uh, mow your own grass or what have you. This is right for you. Call Ken. Phone number's right there. If it's not, get on our home finder right up there. We're going to call you up. and you, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you like four or five questions. Name, email address, how many acres you need, what's your budget, how soon are you looking to buy. Then one of the girls are going to call you on the phone and say, hey, we need a little bit more information. Just want to kind of dial it in a little bit for you and get exactly the properties you want to see. And we'll just email them to you. Sent right to your inbox. We'll have another video out for you soon, so definitely subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for hanging out with this beautiful fall afternoon with me here in the great bluegrass state. There you go. That's it. That's all I got. I got no more. Okay, what were we talking about? We were talking about, before we went up on the... Okay, what were we talking... Okay, what were we talking about before we went up on a flight? Sent right to your email box, to your, to, your, to your email box. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.